In this session, we're going to show you how to prepare the right arm for installation. I'll kind of go around the fixture so you can see some of the features and the controls for it. On this side, you'll see we've got the DMX address switches and the mode switch. The mode switch will limit the pan and the tilt so it's not running into fixtures next to it or, or below it. And then the DMX, which is the three, three uh, pin, three number uh, DMX assignment. On the top part of it, you'll see there is a front indicator, meaning this will be the front of the the front of the fixture will be coming out of the dire in this direction. This is your static cable trough or cable connection. If you'll notice here, the some of the cables do not have connectors on it. You will need to put the connectors on it because you may be using pin connectors or uh, parallel blade connectors, that sort of thing. The DMX connectors are the five pin DMX uh, uh, with a pass through in and out. Also, we've already installed the safety cables. This will actually safety cable the right arm to the pipe that you're hanging it on. On this side here, this is the the bracket that the, the fixture, be it a video projector or a microphone or a uh, fixture, will be hanging on. And then this is the power. This would be a female uh, parallel blade pin connector or a twist lock. You would add that to it later. It is adjustable here and also adjustable there. Also down here is the safety cable that would attach to the fixture that you hang on the right arm. Up here, variety of mounting positions for your, your fixture that you're hanging on it, uh, depending on how wide the fixture is. On the front, you'll see two 24 volt accessory ports, four pin DMX. So if you put a uh, scroller or a uh, DMX rotator or iris in the fixture itself, you can control it from this and it'll pass through from the five pin DMX. The first thing we do to prepare it is to put the C clamp on it. it comes with both the bolt and the C clamp. If you look, there's a front to the fixture itself, so it would be arranged like so. If you look at the C-clamp, there's actually an indentation, and it works with this bolt here. It does have to be locked off so that it doesn't spin once you get it hung on the pipe or installed. Hand tighten it down, and then using a C-wrench, or adjustable wrench, tighten it onto the fixture. The next step, we will show you how to hang the right arm on a pipe.